This incredible image gives us a snapshot of our planet's ocean currents hard at work, moving heat, nutrients, and key species all around the globe. These are surface currents, driven by the friction of trade winds and regional differences in the density of the seawater. These huge marine rivers circulate vast quantities of water around the globe, and in doing so, they create the air you breathe, the rain you drink. They even regulate the climate of our planet. Off the coast of Australia lies a very special marine river, the East Australian Current. At up to 100 kilometers wide and 500 meters in depth, this oceanic artery moves as much as 30 million cubic meters of water every second. It flows around 3,000 kilometers all the way from the Great Barrier Reef to Tasmania bringing warm tropical waters to cold southern seas. As its warm waters flow from the tropics down Australia's east coast, they influence everything from the climate to the biology of the whole region. Most of the heat that reaches our planet from the sun falls on the equatorial regions. And ocean currents like the East Australian Current play a vital role in distributing that heat to the cooler parts of the Earth. Without ocean currents, the uneven heating of the planet would render huge swathes of Earth unlivable. Many temperate zones would freeze over and the tropics would bake in searing heat. Ocean currents are Earth's air conditioning system. But as our planet has warmed, the extra heat energy in the atmosphere has been changing the flow of these marine rivers. The East Australian current has been strengthening, carrying more warm water further south, and this is having an impact all along Australia's east coast. Triggering rapid submarine climate change, as well as changing local weather patterns wherever it flows. The East Australian Current is just one of the myriad of ocean currents that flow around our planet, powering the ecosystems that produce the air we breathe, the food we eat, even the rain that fills our dams. We have just begun to understand how fragile and complex this life support system is, and the vital role played by the creatures of the sea in maintaining a planet suitable for complex life. It's now time to use that knowledge to care for the creatures of the sea so that they can continue to provide for us.